Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin and it would mean the absolute world to me if you could just click that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that I get just makes me so happy. I, I just... fills my heart with joy. <laughs> so today, uh, as you can tell by the title, it's a little bit of a different video for me. We are going to be talking about my worst Tinder experiences. And uh, today I'm only going to be talking about two, but there are more. <laughs> so if you would like to see more, then click that like button so I know that you do enjoy these videos. Just to start off, uh, I've been on Tinder for around a year. I joined Tinder, then I, a few months later I got into a relationship, so obviously I wasn't on Tinder anymore. And then uh, I got dumped, so I'm back on Tinder again, and there are some weird faces, let's say very strange faces on Tinder. Not everyone, but a lot of people are a bit crazy. So, my first story that I'm going to talk about, uh, I don't actually have screenshots for because it was on Snapchat, so you're just going to have to believe me. Promise, pinky promise, it did happen. But the second story that I'm going to talk about, I do have screenshots, so you know that that is real. Okay, so I matched with this guy on Tinder, let's call him Danny. So, me and Danny matched on Tinder, and I recognised Danny from um, a supermarket store. He worked in a supermarket store that I regularly go to, and I'm not even gonna lie, I'd kind of been crushing on Danny a little bit, like, seeing him in store, I was like, mm, he's kind of cute. And then we matched on Tinder, so I was like, true love, <laughs> my prince charming, oh boy, uh, hmm, no. Um, so yeah, we matched on Tinder, we're talking for... 10 minutes let's say it was not long at all 10 minutes and he said hey you know tinder's kind of weird it doesn't really send me notifications which i've had that problem so um he said do you mind if i get your snapchat and i said yeah sure here's my snapchat fill your boots so we're talking for another maybe like 10 minutes um and something that i noticed straight away on snapchat is that he would send snaps that were just unnatural poses. Like, so weird. Like, my snaps are normally like, hmm, posing, you know. He was like, shit up. He was like, oh, mirror self, like, flexing his arms, like, mirror. It was like, to an extreme. So I kind of made a joke, like, oh, like, you're a poser then, like, ha, ha. And he's like, oh, shit up, like, six pack. Um, hate to break it to you, but six packs don't impress me because I see this every day. You girls got a six pack as well. So I don't care. Um, I don't see a six pack and like drop my pants. So he was like, oh, okay. And then he starts sending me very explicit pictures of his nether regions, which was great. Uh, so I, bear in mind, we've been talking for like 20 minutes. And I say, uh, hi, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with this. Um, I, you know, I really don't like this. I found this really uncomfortable. Um, and it's kind of triggering to me. I, I just, can we not do this? And he goes, oh my god, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I won't do it again. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry. Which I appreciated. He said sorry and he was, you know, he was fine after that. Well, I thought he was fine after that. Uh, so he says to me, he then pulls out <laughs> the, um, the phrase. Bear in mind, we've been talking for 20 minutes. Hey, like, if you want to pursue, like, us, uh, I'll delete my Tinder. We've been talking for 20 minutes. I'm like, uh, yeah. I was like, well, if you want to, but just know that I am talking to other people. Like, if you match on Tinder, it isn't, like, relationship, there you go. Like, you've got to get to know people, you've got to talk to people, you've got to, you know. I was like, I am talking to other people. We've been messaging for 20 minutes. So he says oh, okay, I don't like you talking to other people because I find it, like, cheating. And I'm thinking, well, if we were in a relationship, then yeah, that would be cheating, but we're not. We've been talking for 20 minutes. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, like, we're clearly very different people, like, I think I'm gonna dip on this one. To which he responds, wow. You're really gonna give up on me that easy? We've been talking for 20 minutes. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. I was like, uh, well, we clearly want different things. We're clearly different people. We have very different ideas. Uh, I just don't think it's gonna work. Like, I'm really sorry. Like, 
you you literally said yourself you don't want that and I don't want to pressure you into like doing something that you don't want to do like what he's like wow you're giving up on me dude oh, we've been talking for 20 minutes oh my god so yeah I just kind of said well I'm not gonna pressure you into doing something that you don't want to do you've already said to me that you don't like that and that's fine so he got a little annoyed at me for saying that just a just a smidgen and uh, bear in mind the whole conversation that we'd had like five minutes before in me saying I get really uncomfortable when people send me uh, dick pics and uh, he sent me a plethora of penis pictures which was really great and I had a mental breakdown so that was that was fun I'm really glad that I didn't meet up with him so that was a uh, guy number one as I said unfortunately I did not have screenshots but oh boy guy number two <laughs> I have screenshots. <laughs> okay, so this guy I matched on Tinder and he looked very similar to my ex, which don't match on Tinder because he looks like your ex. Don't do it. There's a bit of a backstory. Like we talked a lot. We were like, not like serious, but we were like going to meet up. We were like pretty, you know? This is my favorite question to ask anyone that I meet on Tinder and I'll scooch over because I'm gonna have to put screenshots here. So my first question was, okay, worst Tinder experience? And I put meeting me, it doesn't count because I'm like quirky and funny. He put, easy, first year of uni. This girl has been chatting to me for a few days and seemed like, I can't read, and seemed like we were gonna get along peacefully because it seemed she was into good music and she was super chill. I was like, okay. She comes over and I play some of our favorite tracks and she knew none of them, which I was shocked, and I dug deeper and started pulling out my CD collection, and she had no clue who most of the artists and bands were. I decided to look past it. Rolled a joint. She came out to smoke. Starts coughing like a bitch and start... <laughs> starts coughing like a bitch to start, and then taps out early. So we go back upstairs, and this point in the conversation is declining in quality rapidly, and I quickly become aware of how dull she was at this point, and it was mind-numbing. I ended up going to the kitchen to get a drink. Really, I was telling my housemate Lorna to get me out of this. She knocks on the door about 15 minutes later to tell me that the housemate is having a panic attack, and she will only speak to me. I turn to this girl and ask her to show herself out. End of. Never saw or spoke to her again. Uh, okay, so, like, right. First thoughts. Having different music tastes is okay. It's allowed. Um, I love musical theatre. 99 of the guys who I meet on Tinder have no idea who Barrett Wilbert Weed is. I'm not gonna be like, mm, no, sorry, deal breaker. And uh, well, you'll you'll see what I say about the the blunt. <laughs> so I put, well, that was a novel. <laughs> not gonna lie i'm not really a drug person at all don't want to do it don't really want to be around it either he put nah i don't do drugs either F uh i put you said you rolled a joint with her he put oh and this is the bit where it gets real real juicy i'm i'm dyslexic so if i stumble on these words and i profusely apologize because he sends like a harry potter book in every response it's paragraphs. But <laughs> here we go, I'm gonna try. Weed isn't a drug. I don't see it like that. It's part of nature. It's a plant. It's a medicine. It's beautiful in all of its wonders. It helps people, generates good vibes, good memories, and most of all, brings people together. Whether you, you're eating it, cooking it, smoking it, bongs, pipes, or growing it for the smell, it's one of the things this earth gives us to love, and nature and appreciate the simple things. It's a reminder that you don't have to be a part of a machine that is our society. You can choose your own path because nature is where we are supposed to be and human construct is our actual divide. But that's another story altogether. Wow. Um, sorry, I'm crying. My eyes are just weeping at the sight of this. So I put, yeah, I, uh, I see weed as a drug. Because if you don't know me, hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm very anti-drug. If you want to do drugs, if you want to snort cocaine, 
fill your boots. I don't want to see it. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to hear about it. Not on my property. Goodbye. Uh, even weed. I'm like, uh. <laughs> no. Um, I've seen firsthand how weed can fuck people up. Uh, not in myself, but in other people. I don't want anything to do with it. If you love weed, if you smoke weed every day, more power to you. Do what you want to do. My personal preference. Don't like it. So <laughs> he put, wow. I put, I've seen the effects and really don't want to be around it again. He says, so right, I don't want to put, this is getting more personal, so I don't really want to put the screenshots on screen, but basically uh, one of my ex-boyfriends was a big drug participator, and I'm basically now in this text, text thread <laughs> going on about how, you know, I've seen the consequences of it, I really don't like it, uh, I've seen people get so paranoid and get just like mood swings and just I don't want to be around it and he's basically um saying that my ex is insane because that can't possibly be the side effect of marijuana um okay first of all this guy has never ever 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 seen my ex my ex may have been a bit insane uh I'm not not lying about that but what? <laughs> That's like me going over to you and being like, oh, what, you had a bad experience with weed? Well, uh, that's your problem. You're insane. It's not the weed. Uh, yes, bitch, it is. It's just <laughs> crazy to me how this guy... I feel like there's another big paragraph as well, so... Yeah, I was right. Another novel. Let's go through this. I studied cannabis for years now. Any knowledge I've been able to grasp on it, I have. I also studied psychology, and its behaviours are that of a manic depressive, or possibly a p couple of other things. I don't know him. I don't know you. But I know that I'm talking... Uh, I know what I'm talking about right now. I'm the happiest, most go-lucky, optimistic, caring, kind and fun, chilled out dude I know. I smoke weed, have never been paranoid, never attacked anyone aimlessly, and I have never, ever, ever done anything to hurt anyone with malicious intent. That's all from me. Back to the studio, Caitlin. Well, at least he acknowledges that he's just crazy. And I never said that my ex attacked me. I said that he was paranoid. <laughs> okay, and I just kind of said, well, you do you. I'm not the sort of person to stop anyone from doing anything. Uh, I'll say the same thing I said to my ex, go smoke weed as long as it's nothing to do with me because I don't like it. And that's just my personal preference and opinion. I am, as I said before in this video, I am huge in saying that this is my opinion. This thing, point A, right, is my opinion, my belief, my thought process. If you, if your thought process is all the way down at Z, that's great, that's cool, I'm not gonna say that you're wrong unless it's like factually like, you know, 2 plus 2 is 17, I'm like, no, you are wrong. Uh, but if your belief and your, your opinion and your, you know, whatever, whether it be political, drugs, I, I don't care, I really don't care. That's my opinion and that's your opinion. I'm fully respectful of your opinion, just don't shit on my opinion, okay? Okay. So then uh, he asks me if I drink, to which I say no. Um, now I just say no, I don't say why. The reason why I don't drink is because I'm anorexic uh, and if I have one cider, then it's like the equivalent of having like 10 shots. It just goes straight through me and I'm throwing up all night. That's the reason I don't drink, but I just said no. And to that he said, take care. And I've never heard from him again. Wow, that was a trip down memory lane. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> so yeah, this was uh, just two of my really great experiences with Tinder guys. Uh, just a bit of a kind of disclaimer kind of thing. Not everyone on Tinder is insane. Uh, <laughs> I met my ex-boyfriend on Tinder. Um, notice I said ex. <laughs> but no, he was... A... I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> But no, not everyone on Tinder are psychopaths, and not everyone on Tinder 
are nuts uh, and just want sex. Uh, some people do actually want a relationship and if you're on Tinder like me then good luck to you. Hopefully you don't run into any of these guys. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I hope you like this eye look as well. It's kind of galaxy inspired. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. And uh, while doing this, I kind of discovered that I hate gems. So yeah, that's that on that. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did like this video, please leave a like and thumbs. No, they're the same thing. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. As I said, it would help me out massively. We did just hit 480 subscribers, which is crazy. I'm trying to get to 500 by September. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.